नमस्कार वेलकम टू कॉन्वर्जेशन विद राकेश हेयर स्टूडेज क्वेश्चन राकेश सर आई फील दैट आई हैव नॉट अकम्पलिश्ड एनी थिंग इन लाइफ दिस फीलिंग इज स्पॉइलिंग एवरी थिंग आई हैव विथ मी राइट नाउ वॉट शुड आई डू आई मस्ट एनकरेज ऑल ऑफ यू टू वॉच दिस अमेजिंग मूवी कॉल्ड सोल विच इज वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस क्वेश्चन इन द रीसेंट ईयर्स स्पेशली इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स और सो देर इज अ ट्रिमेंडस अमाउंट ऑफ लिटरेचर विच कम्स फ्रॉम हाउ डू यू फाइंड दैट परफेक्ट करियर फॉर योर सेल्फ बिकॉज करियर गिवज अस अ लॉर्ड ऑफ आइडेंटिटी मीनिंग नाउ डेज देर इज अ टर्म पर्पज जोन पैशन एंड आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ कंपनी कॉल्ड स्कूल ऑफ मीनिंगफुल एक्सपीरियंसिस सो आई बिलीव इन दिस अलॉट एंड आई ऑल्सो नो दैट देर इज अ फेमस बुक जैपनीज बुक कॉल इकी गाई दैट टॉक्स अबाउट इट what i think we don't realize is that those are very important books literature which are contextual in a certain way this question is slightly away from that this question is not about all of that and that's where the movie soul comes in soul actually is one of the finest movies made it's a animation movie very difficult script and very difficult storyline but they cracked it and they cracked it to the level that it won some awards it's a story of a jazz musician in new york who's also a teacher and he knows that his purpose of life is to perform in a jazz uh, event and become very famous and really enjoy his life but somewhere he dies and then he goes to heaven and then there is this concept of souls in that heaven place and from there souls come to earth only when they find a spark and <laughs> this guy joe is assigned a very stubborn soul uh, brilliantly portrayed uh, by a number called 22 soul number 22 very stubborn that soul doesn't want to come to earth because that soul feels ki yaar i don't have a spark i get bored in everything so the story is about how joe and this number 22 discover the whole meaning of spark and life in that movie and i'll tell you the secret of what exactly is the purpose of a soul at the end of the video but now let's go to the question you feel that i'm doing nothing i'm on this earth wasting my time and in many ways that movie soul exactly was this that joe felt ki i'm not doing anything i'm not performing jazz i'm not doing music my life is wasted so there are some root causes why we go through that in today's 21st century uh because of social media this discussion is getting deafening it is creating mental unwellness it is harming our students and our professionals and our children and our adults and managers everybody is really bothered with that because there are three root causes why this feeling comes root cause number 1 our peer group that we compare ourselves with is a problem that we look at social media kuch na kuch kar rahe hain log किसी ने कंपनी खोल दी कोई एम कर रहा है किसी ने कंपनी बेच दी कोई हॉलिडे कर रहा है कोई कुछ और कर रहा है सो वी कंपेयर विद देम एंड वी फील कि यार मैं तो कुछ कर ही नहीं रहा हूँ एंड दैट्स वेयर दिस फीलिंग सिंक्स इन सो कंपेरिजन विद अ पियर ग्रुप इज अ बिग रूट कॉज ऑफ दिस फीलिंग की माई लाइफ इज वर्थलेस लेट्स लुक एट फीलिंग नंबर टू फीलिंग नंबर टू कम्स वेन सम वन वी रिस्पेक्ट अ लॉट somebody we hold very high in our books is very critical of what we are doing in life so this person is so respected in our life maybe an authority figure and they feel that our career is useless we have done nothing so we may have something we go to them for appreciation and they say ki isme kya badi baat hai ye to koi bhi kar sakta hai and that causes such a crash landing of our dreams and this person could be a symbolic uh, teacher a parent an elder sibling somebody in our life society and there we perceive them to be highly accomplished individuals that's why when they say ki ye kya bakwas kar rahe ho we feel uh, that our accomplishments and life is not enough in fact one of my professors uh, very nice human being he passed away he used to say यार राकेश तूने ऐसा क्या तीर मार लिया है किसी गधे को भी तेरा अपॉर्चुनिटी दूंगा वो भी वो से अच्छा ही करेगा नाउ ही डिट मीन इट इन दैट वे बट आई थिंक इफ आई वुड हैव फेल्ट बैड आई वुड हैव गॉन थ्रू अ डिप्रेशन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल लाइक दैट इन आर सोशल लाइव 
पेरेंटल लाइफ एल्डर सिबलिंग लाइफ हु आर वेरी क्रिटिकल ऑफ आवर अकम्पलिशमेंट्स एंड दैट ब्रेक्स आवर होल पर्पज दैट वी आर डूइंग इन आर लाइफ सो दैट कुड बी रूट कॉज नंबर टू रूट कॉज नंबर थ्री कुड बी दैट वी पेग अ लॉट ऑफ फोकस ऑन वॉट अदर्स थिंक ऑफ अस बहुत जरूरी है हमारे लिए कई लोगों में होता है ऐसा क्यों होता है क्या होता है इट्स अ डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम ऑल टूगेदर बट फॉर मेनी ऑफ अस वॉट पीपल टॉक अबाउट अस इज वेरी क्रिटिकल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड टू गिव यू परस्पेक्टिव देर वॉज दिस कैरेक्टर इन थ्री इडियट्स कॉल्ड सुहास ब्रिलियंटली पोर्ट्रेड आई थिंक दैट कैरेक्टर इज एपिटोम ऑफ दैट फीलिंग कि मैं जो करूँगा नंबर वन करूँगा मतलब शूज भी सबसे एक्सपेंसिव एंड आमिर खान कॉल से मैं प्राइस टैग और समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड इट इज़ ट्रू ऐसे लोग बहुत ज़्यादा हैं हमारी सोसाइटी में एंड दे आर ऑलवेज टॉकिंग अबाउट द बेस्ट कॉलेज दे आर स्टडिंग इन द बेस्ट जॉब्स दे आर इन द बेस्ट मनी दे आर मेकिंग द बेस्ट यॉट्स दे हैव एंड वी इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू बी इन दैट लीग सो वी गिव अननेसेसरी इम्पॉर्टेंस टू दीज काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशंस इन लाइफ सो द थर्ड रूट कॉज इज इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मेनी ऑफ अस वॉट पीपल थिंक ऑफ मी if they think of me as a very accomplished person that's important to me but if they think of me as a nobody as a loser it impacts me so life is like a spectrum of accomplishments imagine a straight line we perceive extraordinary accomplishments to be rare but they are there you know top rank a unicorn status aajkal थोड़ी पागल पंती हो गई है हमारे स्टार्टअप वर्ल्ड में यूनिकॉन स्टेटस एंड आई नो कंपनीज हु क्रिएटेड अ न्यू टर्म सूनिकॉन कि सून टू बी यूनिकॉन मतलब समटाइम्स यू फील कि ये आंटरप्रनोरशिप इज टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम और टू बिकम दिस ह्यूज रिच इन टू इयर्स एंड एग्जिट एंड देर आर पीपल हु हैव डन एंड देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ इशूज एंड वेन वेन स्टूडेंट्स लुक एट दी शार्क टैंक एंड दी स्टोरीज ऑन मीडिया कि तीन साल में इसने तीन बिलियन डॉलर एग्जिट कर दिया दैट्स एन एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी अकाउंटमेंट होते हैं एंड दैट कॉजेज अ वेरी सीरियस प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वन एक्सट्रीम द अदर एक्सट्रीम इज वर्थलेस लूजिंग कंप्लीटली सब कुछ बर्बाद हो गया कुछ भी पैसा नहीं बनाया फेल हो गए दैट इज लूजिंग एंड समवेयर इन बिटवीन बिटवीन इज द ऑर्डनरी लाइफ अकॉर्डिंग टू मी वी स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ आर टाइम इन द ऑर्डनरी जोन एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी तो बहुत रेयर होता है लाइफ में डिफीट्स बहुत ज़्यादा होती हैं वर्थलेसनेस बहुत ज़्यादा होती है सो मोस्ट ऑफ आर टाइम ऑन अ स्केल ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट इज स्पेंट बिटवीन ऑर्डनरी टू वर्थलेस एक्टिविटीज एंड जीरो आउटपुट समटाइम्स बट वी क्रेव टू गो टूवर्ड्स एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी बिकॉज फॉर अस वेन पीपल से कि अरे इसने क्या एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी काम किया है इट मैटर्स टू अस and that's why when we read about elon musk sam altman and all these billionaires doing wonders hame bahut dukh hota hai because we feel ki are as compared to them mai to kuch kar hi nahi raha hu but what we don't see is the amount of work they put in this is the perfectionism bias so take a look at that so let me summarize these three root causes root cause number 1 your peer group is you perceiving that they are doing better than you number 2 in your group or your parents or maybe your teachers or your siblings or some society there is someone who you respect but they are very critical about you and number 3 you give tremendous importance more than required to being judged as an extraordinary person by others not by yourself and these three root causes create this feeling that you are going through in your life so now let's look at what should you do um the answers are fairly simple and i'll tell you a very nice joke jagjit singh ji said uh, in one of his performances about 30 years ago jab mp3 player or cds or ye sab nahi hoti thi cassettes mein hum log gaane sunte the so i had a walkman in college aur meri ek bahut favorite cassette thi jo shayad kisi ne mere ko gift ki thi was a live performance of jagjit singh i think in albert hall somewhere in uk and the beauty of that was not only his songs with chitra ji but also he was giving jokes and he was talking to people and it's a amazing cassette i heard it again and again to usme ek joke tha ki jagjit singh ji kisi ke ghar gaye aur bada billionaire ka ghar tha 
and in that house there was a bathroom with three tubs one tub was full of hot water one was full of cold water and one was empty so jagjit singh went to the host and said ki yaar aapke bathroom mein teen tub hain what is the reasoning so the host says ki are wo garam pani you know if you feel like having a bath with hot water thanda pani if you feel like having a bath with cold water so jagjit singh bolte hain ki what is the empty tub for i understand these two so the host says ki kabhi kabhi nahane ka man na kare to usme baith jana i think this joke is amazing but it is practical for us ki yaar why don't we look at a life where not doing anything extraordinary is okay and uh, why should we always have to accomplish something kabhi kabhar tub mein baith jao <laughs> don't take a bath it's absolutely all right why do we have to live life according to what others want us to do this philosophy is very important for you so what should you do i think you must become comfortable in telling yourself ki yaar aaj kuch zyada maine achieve nahi kiya nothing wrong in it and if you look at the movie soul that movie ends with this beautiful message that the purpose of a soul is not to find a spark and have a meaningful career the purpose of a soul is to just live on planet earth and the day you find out that we have a gift and we should live a great life and if we are wasting our life on issues that what are the others thinking of me they are more successful i am not and they are telling me that i am not good enough you must question your own existence and it is time to reflect on those feelings tell yourself it's okay to have these feelings but make a choice and the choice should be that either you shut your mind to what people talk about you and carve yourself that space where you are comfortable of being yourself being ordinary doesn't matter it's yourself you define it and you have to be comfortable with that and once you find this space of comfort where you are comfortable with being an ordinary person where accomplishing something is meaningless i think you'll be able to realize that you have a great opportunity to do something with your life so here are the requests i have for you one please stop comparing you must shut your mind to comparison with your peer group if you can't do that change your peer group your peer group should be people who are so different so that you learn from them but if you're going to compare with the same ghisa pita 10 log which have been studying with you for the last 10 years you are now doing yourself injustice so either shut down comparison or change your peer group number 2 if there is a person who's very critical of you stop listening to them their opinion doesn't matter and number 3 start telling yourself that hey i am not going to let others tell me what i am and believe a little bit about your own self which is self worth self confidence and self esteem so on that note watch soul i think you'll realize that the purpose of our life is to just live enjoy it it's an opportunity kuch kaam kar liya kuch logon se mil liye kuch khana kha liya kisi ki madad kar di and at the end of the day we come home and bless uh, feel blessed ek prarthna kar li ki thank you prabhu for giving me a reasonably good life and do something so that somebody else can have the same prayer some day and in that i feel you'll find your life which is a ordinary life a blissful life nothing wrong with that on that note stay safe